idea. That's why I wanted to ride through town and see if she's still there. Okay. Y'all do y'all do a ride through of say here. Let's okay. think if of this real quick, if, if I may. Um, let's figure okay. out a place in our heads real quick that we want to take her, so it's not just a confusing situation. Anthony, oh, I don't have keys. I Where'd might. You say? But then where'd she'll you, have a Where'd you say? Limpany. Limpany. Mel, you got keys to Limpany? Mm. Any and all if sheriff's you can, keys should get into it. If you can give if I can go to the stable real quick. No, I might have one on spirit. Just hold on. No, it just it's not a good idea. No, okay. I'm saying if I can go to the stable real quick, she doesn't have any, I can get my keys right now. I have one. Okay. Well, I would take her there, though. She might have them, but she's tied up laying there. What's she going to do? I'll just take can them take from her. Can we take her keys? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, we can take hers. I gives her keys because oh. I'm giving it to Pedro because I promised him a set of keys. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> I want to uh, stab her with her keys. Do um, we just want to break in? Oh, go ahead. Sorry. So if uh, do wants through, if she's there, if you recognize a horse, honestly, if two of you have keys... Two in the front, two in the back. Go in and break in and take her. If she's solo. Yeah, if. If uh, she's solo. If she's gonna, not, just wait. It's going to be real hard to determine if she is, just because it's hard to see into that office. Okay. Yeah, uh, when you say it's hmm? Okay. Y'all, uh, and then where where exactly is Limpity? Uh, South, South of Valentine. Valentine. Mm -hmm. The burnt down uh, town. Mm, okay. On the river, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I didn't know keys open that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, yeah, y'all go for it. And uh, if I see y'all riding out of town, I'll... someone try to ride along the track if you have her, and that way it's kind of signals. Got it. Okay. I'm not going to go down there, but at least I'm not sitting here. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to ride through town, see if she's in there, and then... Why don't yep. Sam and I go to the back of the building? You two go to the front of the building. Yeah, I don't have my keys right now, but it'll mean that she can't get out the back. Once we determine if she's there, then we'll coordinate. Yeah. If Amber runs around the back first, she can unlock the door and then run out the back out the front. True. That's true. We can do that. Then we have two doors unlocked and we can all rush. Let's do that. Washing. If she's there, Amber, just unlock that back door and mm -hmm. then uh, you go in the front door of the mill. And then uh, from there... Y'all, uh, just make sure you get her. Okay. Okay. Right. Be safe. Yeah, yeah. Masks. She'll recognize me once I fucking start talking anyway. Yeah, it'll be fine. Up right here. She's inside. Ready? She's in there? Yeah, ready. Howdy, honey. Hi. Howdy. You might as well just step on it. Yeah. Yeah, you don't really have a choice. Oh, actually, first things first. Turn around and take that pretty little badge off and that white hat of yours. Okay. Nope, not near the telegram station. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, the, no, te not. The, the telegrams are over there now. Hmm. If you would like to go look for yourself. Go for it. Okay. Once you get clocked off, yeah, you don't need to worry about sending a telegram. Just step on out the back door.
Go ahead and tie her up. We'll put her on the back of your horse, actually. Um, you other two got your horses up. I got her. Cocky now, is she? Hmm. No, she sounded very surrenderish. Lead the way. Let's go. Tracks. Yep. Hmm. Once we get up here a little bit, let's not make it obvious and take all the tracks all the way. Mm -hmm. Here, turn left. Everybody turn left.
This is gonna be good because Jen is such a good role player. You know where to take her. <sighs> no, That's stop the thing. Big and tough now, huh? Get in. Head on in. Go ahead. Let's see, you have your pick, left or right. Either will do just fine. I want to grab her keys now. You already did. Okay. Go ahead and go on the left one. I'll give you a bed to lay on. Not too much of a cold hearted bitch anymore. Someone lock the door. Got it. Okay, you got it. So anybody got any questions for this lovely little lady in here? Or is that all brought all that bravado from yesterday? I just don't have anything to say. It's not gonna change it anything, so I don't know exactly what you want me to say. Bitch, you got anything? Mm -mm. No, I think we hammered that out pretty exclusively yesterday. <laughs> don't you think? Mm -hmm. So, I guess the only question I really ever had for you and Jen, and that was something that you and I never really saw eye to eye about was why the fuck did you go after me? Why did you want to ruin my fucking career because I was seen with Mr. John Colt? Only I seen with him. You had no fucking proof of anything else. What? Why did you fucking hate me so fucking much? Do you really think that I hated you, Amber? Yeah, I did. I didn't. In, in fact, I really respected you. I saw what I saw, I talked to Ashbrook, and when it came down to the votes, I didn't vote to fire you. Bullshit, I heard different. If you respected her, you would have talked to her first instead of her husband knowing full well what would have happened. Yep. Again, playing dumb. Clearly, it may work for the, uh, the boys that you're able to string along, but sorry, sweetheart, we don't buy it. I don't know what you're talking about as far as boys I'm stringing along. I'm not even seeing anybody. Mm -hmm. So you're not still sleeping with uh, Lucas? Oh no, it's Denver now. It's not Denver. Denver's married, actually. Mm -hmm. 
We are friends. Yes, we're friendly. I don't even know that we're necessarily friends. But yes, I broke up with Joyce. Because I didn't want to be a part of any of this fucking mess. But you're friends with Denver, who literally just shot someone yesterday? I had... I didn't know. How am I supposed to know about that? How do you not if know he who was he is as a person? Why do you think he was because taken we're from not you? friends. I asked him about what was going on, and he didn't remember anything. Oh, let me refresh you then. So him and his constituents, you know, a little fuck-around group that's sanctioned by y'all, went and took uh, Thomas DeWitt out and shot the fucking shit out of him and took him quite a goddamn long time to, relit to like get the energy to live again because of it. Who? Denver Frost, Clayton Carmine, Benjamin Powell. Well, does that surprise you? And Aaron Hunter, a marshal. Bounty hunters. It's amazing. Aaron. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, Aaron. Aaron's been doing it for months, even before I left, Jen. And don't forget Luke Bourbon. Oh. Interesting. Too, I didn't right? know about that one. Oh, he Rose loves as well. Delgado. Who you uh, tried to harbor yesterday? Who? Who did I try to harbor yesterday? Grace. Yes, because I'm trying to keep her safe. Because mm -hmm. I. Not that it's any of your business, but the day that she married Delgado, I begged her not to do it, and she oh, still went through with it. And since then, I've been talking to her, and she is no longer with Delgado. She doesn't want any part in this more than I do. She fucking started it when she and Lucas attacked Rose. Mm-hmm. I don't even know who Rose is. Grace set Rose up so that she could get fucking beaten with the fucking stock of a gun. He stood there and watched. Isn't Lucas a marshal? No, Lucas is a lieutenant. I oh, think. even better. That would be under deputy. your jurisdiction. Interesting, actually. You break up with him because you don't want, you know, everything that's going on. And yet he's still a deputy. Investigations only go so far, I guess. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is there's no proof of any wrongdoing. You guys aren't even but I... looking. Mm -mm. I literally just sent you a letter, Ivy, saying that I filed your report. Congratulations for doing the basic element of your job. Nobody's brought these things to me or I would investigate them. Do you want to know why? Because the fucking people don't trust you, Jen, because they see how corrupt you are. Sure. I'm corrupt. Thank yeah, you for admitting it. You are. I don't know how I'm corrupt, but you can think whatever you like for me. You're literally letting Lucas still have his badge, knowing full well that you ended a personal relationship with him because you didn't like what he was doing, things that you knew broke, or broke the law. Your own admission, mind you. Again, stop saying No, I said that I didn't want anything to do with all of this because mm -hmm. I didn't want to be trapped in a fucking cell, kidnapped, hurt, shot. I don't want my boys to be hurt. Yeah, you're lucky and that you we were talking about taking him yesterday. Don't touch my boys. Cole likes to walk <sighs> around unattended. It it doesn't look good, Jen, when you're hanging out with uh, people from the firing line who are known to be firing line. Oh wait, that's right. It's okay for an under sheriff to do it, but but for a lieutenant de deputy detective who actually tried to hold the law at her hands and tried to uphold the law to the best of her own ability, it it was a sad day when I was hanging out with a cult. But yet you can hang out with Delgado, and at that time Theo, and at that time um, Percival, and at that time Lucas, and Jack John, and Aaron, and Ben. But it just gets right past the fuck over now, doesn't it? Convenient. Whose boots did you have to lick to get that happen?
Let's not forget about all the things that you said to Bishop the other day. Oh, yeah. Chastising him for being a part of a gang when you yourself are also a part of one. The fucking biggest in New Alexandria. Didn't you tell him that instead of staying up healthy and upright, you wish that we would all die in a hole? Oh, really? He's the one that approached me. Twice! Mm -hmm. Trying to talk to me. Mm -hmm. And I have never been disrespectful to him. No, he said you were pretty respectful in that conversation, aside from that one comment. Your respect is poisonous words laced with honey. Oh, yeah. It's not respect. Am I supposed to like you guys? Are we We're supposed to be friends? That. I'm just saying that you like to tout that you're respectful to people, but you're not. Actually, in all honesty, the only reason why we fucking brought you here is because yesterday you lied to two of our compatriots and another one because I actually wanted to talk to you fucking face to face without any sort of Who did I lie hat. to? You lied to the person to my left and you lied to the person to my right. When we asked who was back there, you said you had no idea when it was clearly Grace and you knew. We just had I to said it was a, gun a at civilian. You. Does the state no, of New Alexandria to... get tired of protecting such a foul, fucking, vicious little cunt like Grace? Does that wear on you at all? Devoting so much time to somebody who's so callous and cold? Who sets people up to be clubbed by your exes? Answer me, please. Well, more than likely turn on you if she needs to. Oh, yeah. People are allowed to change, are they not? What made you change, Den? I'm not talking about myself. Gotcha. I'm the same person I've always been. That's good to know. Two-faced. Right. Oh, I know all about you being sweet to the fish to their face and then talking absolute shit. Am I? Mm -hmm. Because I've, be. I've said anything that I said about them to them. No, you haven't. You have and to realize were... that she also likes to put herself in harm's way so that she can provoke an action that will get people in trouble and makes her look like the fucking champion of the moment or the She's... victim, as we like to call it. Like she tried to pull yesterday when she came out into the front room where three of us had our guns and she just wanted to open up her little book and stand there and put herself in harm's way once again. Do you fucking get off on having your deputies come to your rescue and getting shot because of you? Sure. Mm -hmm. Do you want to live, Jen? Of course I do. Then when are you going to start acting like it? That's why I have nothing to do with any of this anymore. Because it's very <laughs> ironic that the criminals have more integrity than the law, don't you think? You haven't separated yourself enough from them? Not at all. Have I not? No, you literally had Grace in there last night. Because she doesn't want anything to do with any of this Grace either. started it. I don't want to be in the middle of a war between Delgado and I told him the same thing. That his arrogance, that his ego was going to get every single person that I cared about killed. That this yep. was a pointless, senseless fight. They had their tit, you had your tat, it is over. Is that why you called me a fucking coward, Lewis Lucille, when I tried to fire him for the same fucking shit? Yes, you have I changed. didn't realize how deep it went at that time. And of course, I'm going to act in defense of my friend. Right, someone who I actually look to as a guardian. And if I turn my back on him, it's for fucking good reason. And you still call me a coward and hang around with your little fucking clique that gets you off. My fucking clique. 
Yeah. Literally, you guys, Fern, Lucille, Grace, you, Theo, Anna. I haven't seen Fern in months. Thanks I haven't fuck. seen Lucille since she went to Canada. Mm -hmm. I do talk to Theo. Yes, I do talk to Anna. Yes, I do talk to Grace. Because they're my friends. That doesn't make us a clique. Yeah, because apparently Theo and Anna are also trying to turn their lives around. Really conveniently when they get left behind. Mm-hmm. From here on out, Jen, what are you going to do about Lucas, about Aaron? About Jack, John? About your bounty hunters? been working on an investigation. Do we need to drop them off at your doorstep? You can if you like. Oh, I'm not right. necessarily what they're if they're going to fucking admit to it. Yeah. <laughs> Lying to some of these people is like breathing. The problem with these investigations, right, is it's the same thing. All black horses, black masks, black clothes, bandanas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I recognized his voice. What well, well, I can't she recognized go off of that. Have you reached out to her? No, that's why I sent you a letter to remind you to have her reach out to a deputy. I'm, I'm not doing statement. your job for you. I'm sorry. You have detectives when for that, we do you talk, not? Yes, and that's what I said in my letter, that I would delegate it to the detectives because... Since you don't trust me, it's in the best in all of our best interests that I don't touch the report further. So I've delegated it to the detectives. I left it in their hands. Why did you not open an investigation when we took Denver from you? I'm I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I forgot. It was it was that simple. I I forgot. I was at the house for a few days. Um, just taking care of things around the house, cleaning, getting some other work done, you know, and because you know what I thought of doing my mind. What really making you look like shit at your job and turning myself in for it and letting them know that you were there and witnessed it just to make you look like a piece of shit. How ironic would that have been? And that's fine. Should you wish to do that? Oh, I'm aware. I told the deputies I forgot to do the paperwork. I then why I even mention it? busy with work yesterday? around the house, and I just forgot. I wonder how Denver's gonna feel if uh, he finds out you just forgot to uh, file the paperwork for his kidnapping. <laughs> it's probably normal. Well, if he was involved, right? Like you said, he was. Mm -hmm. I doubt he'd very much care, right? I don't know. You said you're friends. We're barely friends. We're friendly. Like I said, the company that you keep is very awkward. If we don't have anything else, ladies. I don't. Getting brighter outside. I don't think that she should live. I really don't. No. What about the comments that you made about my father? Oh, that's right. Who is your father? Ethan Cole. What about him? You said he. You said a little while ago that you were glad that he was dead. That he was killed by Antonio Delgado. I said that this world was a better place without him in it. I don't feel like that's accurate. But whatever. I really don't want to let her live either. But knowing who she is, she's probably just going to be a cockroach. And even if we step on her, she's just going to get back up. Well, there's only one way to test that theory. Firing line, the what? The firing line.
convince us not to, Jen? The good firing line, you know. Or I could make, let you meet my horse very personally. It's getting light out for that melody. I already told you I'm not who you think that I am. Well, what you think that you are and what you perceive to others or others perceive of you is completely the opposite. You should probably work on that. Especially since you're not you're sure. Me differently. We walk two very different paths, you and I. Not so really. of course you're going to see me differently. We don't actually walk different paths at all. Our paths cross, but we do walk different paths. It doesn't seem like it. it. seems like you're more of a criminal than I am. That's what you choose to believe about me. I like your vest, though. It's a way to honor my father. There, There's two. We are walking the same path. One's just darker than the other. You're also still living in the gray as well. We all live in the gray, Amber. No. No, motherfucker. I tried to live on that side. I tried to follow through with people. I tried to be good. I tried to leave my fucking path behind me. And all I got was flack for it. But guess what? I'm giving everybody what they fucking want. This isn't what anybody wanted for you ever. Bullshit. Bullshit. Fucking mm. Malcolm, Elena, every single one of you fuckers. I tried for months to fucking be the best deputy I could of this fucking state, along with everybody else that fucking trained me. And I slip up once in the year that I was a fucking deputy. One year! I fucking slip up once! And your respect <laughs> is to go and tell her husband. You guys do what you want with her. I, I'm... I swear, if I actually continue looking at her and hearing her voice, she won't step out of this fucking place alive. Do not leave the... Oh. <sighs> How about we take her out of commission for a little bit? She doesn't need her kneecaps, does she? I don't know. Do you, Jen? I kind of want to make her meet Frostbite. I'm going to be honest. I think taking the tongue would be a much more plausible option because she relies so heavily upon the scalding bullshit that comes out of her mouth. True. What about breaking her jaw? Hmm. Frostbite does that really nicely. I don't want to torture you. I do. Not into that I shit. I don't think these words, just the words, are going to get through to her, though. I think oh, she no. needs a physical reminder. Yep, something she can visually inspect upon her body for the rest of her fucking demented life. And if you somehow, whatever is cast upon you, Jen, if you somehow are able to change your life, so be it, so good. Otherwise, your life will be filled with misery, and it will follow your kids. It will follow your love. It will follow every element of your existence. I promise you. Hollister said, you show me your friends, I'll show you your future. Look at who your friends are and where you are currently, Jen. So what's it going to be, Jen? You're the one holding all the cards. I'm asking you a question. And if you don't choose to answer it, then you leave the perspective up to us. Do you like your cut, tongue out? Or would you like your jaw broken? 
would you like to be shown? I would like, is none an option? Because that's what I would prefer. No. I don't know. Your day of reckoning has come forth. You had to see this coming. You're not stupid. There's an atonement for the things you say, how you treat people, what you do to folks, what you cover up for them, all of that. Your narrative will almost always never shift in your favor. Especially when you just speak so ill and treat people so callously. Pick quickly or I'll win a pick for you. How am I supposed to pick? How am I supposed to pick that? Well, if Ivy cuts out your tongue, then you can't talk. If I break your jaw, then it heals over time. Just break I have to go in my head. Okay. Do you want your jaw broken? Of course I don't, but it's a lesser of two evils. Jaw is there. Hmm? She picked Jaw it is. Okay. I'm gonna go get Frostbite. Good. That also suggests you stop wearing that vest. Go. I'll get her. Watch out. Let's go, Jen. Just lay your nice on the ground. I'm gonna undo your binds if you run the pellets from our you. shotguns. We'll catch you before you can get far enough away to remove or get away from them. And don't worry, I'll make sure to aim at your knees. Down on the ground for me. Do you want me to lay down or kneel? On your back. Tilt your head back to the side. I'm going to you guys are standing still so she doesn't speak. Mm -hmm. Any lost words?
She's out. Hmm. You want to put her inside? You don't need to lock it. Uh, yeah, we can. Said you don't want it locked? No. 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 Let's get out of here. Give me a minute. Yep. You okay? Mm -hmm. I hate that torture <laughs> shit. Yeah. I think that that might be the only way she actually learns, though. Yeah. I hope so. We'll see, I guess. Call your horse. John Melody. She's inside, mm -hmm. so. Okay. I'd say gun's still out until she's out. I don't know who could write up. True. She actually telegrammed for anyone. Girl frostbite. I just want to make sure you didn't lock it, right? Nope. Okay, good. Okay. Let's uh, go to Flatneck. Yeah. And send Pedro to her. Mm hmm. Uh, I was thinking oh, somewhere away from here, yeah, but. Well, it's easy to send him a telegram and then. Move. Find a location so he can move to the location as we're moving. True. He might actually be there. Yeah, that's true. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that makes her different from us is that we understand the consequences of our actions and we oh, don't shy absolutely. away from them. Yep. We're also criminals. Right. Because I know I sure as shit wouldn't be crying if I was in that cell. to get run over. Yeah, that's why I ran. Oh, well. I don't know. Pedro said he's at Homestead. Pedro said he's at Homestead, so yeah. head that way. Yep. They have absolutely no idea. Good. Perfect. Lead us out, Mel. Onwards. Hmm? I said onwards. Oh. I was gonna <laughs> say, like, yeehaw, and then, but everyone keeps bullying me when I say that. Let's hear it. <laughs> No. Come on. Please. No. Come on. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Fuck Ivy. Yeehaw. Sounds like she's trying to hiccup it. Yeehaw. Sounds like a little prairie dog. <laughs> Yeehaw. Yeehaw. <laughs> Come on, Melody. Come on, Melody. Yeehaw. 
How? No, what the fuck come on. Wow. Disappointed yeah. face. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. A little bit more. A little bit more. You got this. Put some oomph into it. Yeah. <laughs> Melody. What? Melody, this way. <laughs> Good job, ladies. Mm -hmm. I, uh, you feel better, point, Amber? There would have been no point in me fucking dressing up. I knew that she was going to recognize me the moment I fucking yep. spoke. No, she's going to recognize all of us. It's oh, not yeah. a problem. Yeah. But that's the thing is that we we weren't looking to actually hide from her. I don't think that that's what the masks is for, or mask is for. It's not for the person we're taking. It's for the other people. Yep. Yeah, that's true. That's actually very wise. Ay, ay, ay. V! I, uh, I wish she died. Yeah. But we won't hear her voice for a while. I don't know, they got pretty good doctors. True. She likes to milk injuries, though. So did you it's have her clock vision. off? Yeah, mm -hmm. they had her clock off. <laughs> <laughs> so she didn't get paid for any of that. Nope. I mean, even though it's still going to be aggravated kidnapping, but uh, it won't be as bad because she was clocked off. So technically, she was not oh. an undercarriage. That's fucking funny. You smart bitches. I thought it was just so people didn't recognize a hat. Mm, nah, well, that was probably part of it, but I didn't think that far. <sighs> oh, yeah, because you know we're going to... <laughs> we should really tell Denver that she forgot to file <laughs> that fucking thing. Ugh. It wouldn't be just her that we would tell that to, though. Yeah. Uh, so, my husband he? says, come to Homestead, and then he's not here. Pedro! Can I change out of my gray horse and get my black horse again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You, if anyone's inside, let your selfie know. I'm gonna shoot, shoot you in the back because you're blind as fuck. <laughs> that, wouldn't have, that wouldn't have ended too well for you. You call me a proud motherfucking papa right here. I saw that shit. Saw you guys right away on the train tracks. <laughs> we did what you told us. Yep. Y'all, everything go right? Yep. Now I'm getting my gorgeous red horse out now. Melody got to use frostbite. Yeah. Oh, God. So we made her choose. Uh, she could have her tongue, her tongue cut out by Ivy. She mm -hmm. could have her jaw broken, or we could firing line her. I was gonna shoot <laughs> at her in the shots. And then she picked frostbite, so. Alright. Oh, that crack oh. was nasty. Yeah. <laughs> Frostbite's very experienced in all that sort of stuff. Is everybody good? It was fun. Yeah, I just can't. Like, I, you never know how it's going to feel when you get atonement for somebody who's done such nope. wrong until it happens. You never really know how it's going to feel. And I don't know. I just kind of, I feel really good about it. But I'm just like, I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot of adrenaline. Yeah. But it's a lot of weight gone. Dude, that taking her down in the office, she was all alone. Like yep. taking her I down could not so, have gone better. So I saw I saw Melody and Amber on horse go around the general store and I was like, Oh shit, she must not be in there. All of a sudden I just see four horses riding out of town. I was like, Huh. There's an extra well body on there. <laughs> So the front door was wide open, and the reason why Melody and I rode past the front door is because I knew it was wide open. And I wanted gotcha. to go, I told Melody that she's in there, and I said, that's her, because Melody said there was a lady in black hair. So I went and I told Sam and Ivy right away, or Ivy was actually coming up, actually, uh, and so I unlocked the back door, and I said, go in, and then I went up front with Melody. It really did. I'm glad we discussed a little bit of details about it before we did it, because it yeah. worked very well. well very done. proud of us. And then really fucking fucking proud of all of you, out. by the way. <laughs> very What's proud. That? So I'm very proud of all of you. You guys did fantastic. I don't know. I, I, 
all of it. Don't fuck with cult women. Nope. And thank you, Melody, for bringing up her tongue and the despiteful things that she said. Yeah, I forgot did, about did you, that. Did you mention about her fucking speaking shit about Ethan? Yes. Yep. Melody. All right, good. She's like, good. who's your father? And she's like, Ethan? Oh. Uh, are we <laughs> going to send a telegram about where she's at, or are we just going to say fuck it? The locals can find her. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say locals can find her. Yeah. Um, so there was nothing. an individual, there was an individual after you all ran out of town, uh, a male with like a, like a bowl hat on. Did y'all huh. see him at all? No. Mm -mm. Okay. No. His name was like Tim, Timbody, Tim, Timbabot, Tim, something like that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I had a really hard time understanding him to be honest. Um, it, I saw you guys leave and then like two minutes later, I'm standing at the telegram office just to see if anybody comes running in there. And he comes fucking hauling ass on his horse. Jumps off, runs aside. I was like, hey, buddy, you okay? Yeah, I just got to tell the deputies about something. And I was like, huh. How about you not come with me? <laughs> <laughs> he even got a little piece of the action, too. That's fucking awesome. That's fucking he, funny. His horse, his horse goes away. We went north. And I was like, okay. Let's have a chat. Yeah, yeah. I that like, is you fucking see? hilarious. He goes, he goes, there was four women and they, they, they ran inside and then they came back with another one and they left. I was like, that sounds really bad, right? He's like, yeah. It's like something <laughs> bad could happen to those people that, that like wronged them, right? He's like, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, boy. So, so he never sent his telegram. Uh, there is one other person that I did see was the gray-haired lady that was running past the fucking bank as Melody and I were heading down that alleyway between the undertaker and the bank. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she fucking saw anything or not, but she could have probably thought, well, the people are just riding through town because at that point, nobody saw us really do much of anything except for, like mm -hmm. you said, no, that one guy. Yeah. He had like a weird, like, you know, like the, the cannonball hat? Yeah. He had yeah. one of those on. And I was like, oh, okay. And it was easy because I, I also told her to fucking punch out no Good. hat, no badge. I mean, yeah. it's still going to be aggravated Good. fucking kidnapping. But she was off might, duty? Yeah, it might not be as bad. You won't get Amber over here with fucking, fucking big brain. <laughs> Look, man, I, I just go what comes to my head, okay? You do it well. Hey, y'all did good. Thank you. Like, legitimately. Well done. That's funny. She she still had no fucking answers for me. Of course not. None. She hasn't invented them in her head yet. Yep. And then she can lay there and think about one. Because that was only oh, the that second time that I fucking <laughs> talked to her about that whole thing. Didn't she know who did it? Oh, yeah. What do you mean? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's up to y'all if y'all want to send a telegram or you want locals to find her on. Yeah, on the... they've already said locals, so let's okay. fucking leave it. All right. She's not I'm worthy of that. anything. Any sort of memory. <laughs> okay. You know, I saw y'all right out though, and I was like, okay, followed him for a second. <laughs> she dropped something, by the way. Um, Along the tracks. Yeah. I saw that. It I was. Do, 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 wisteria. Huh? Yeah. Interesting. I don't. Must yeah, be a just calling card yeah. for them then. One single wisteria. Wisteria. Yep. Don't care. Hmm. Did you pick it up? She, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. Oh yeah. And then I Funny. followed kind of like where I thought y'all might have gone. You went and along looked... the beach. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it was a good route, by the way. Good job. I did. Uh, I did from the beach to the tracks, and I didn't find any more of it. So. Wait, yeah. so she was dropping that? Interesting. Yeah. Uh, I she dropped one piece of it. Sorry. No, oh, you're okay. I saw something underneath the uh, Sephiro's hooves when we were riding. When I was, because I was behind Melody, and I saw something on the ground. I saw something purple, and I was like, eh, you know, whatever. It's just a fucking flower growing up between the railroad tracks. No, I got horses. Oh, it's Rose. No, it's not Rose. It's no, that's the horse. Oh, okay. 
I yeah. need to go in my head, so I'm right. gonna go in the house and I'll do that real quick. <laughs> Yeah, she dropped one single piece of wisteria, and I was like, huh. Okay. So. Pick that up. Hey, say we're trying blow it. You know how he says it. What? You say it wrong. Oh. Okay. Wisteria. There, no. is that better? No, stop it. Hi. Weist, Hello. Weist, Weist Raya. Uncle BB. How you doing, bud? I've been alright. It turns out even after uh, being told how to make grain alcohol, I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Guess what? Uh, I got my medical uh, patch too. Wow. Yeah. I can make grain alcohol. I got a bunch of I mean, it. I, just... I was told not to drink it. I use it to make rum. Oh. I just yeah. would like to figure out how to make it, but... You sound uh, like you just woke up. Uh, I'm also a little stuffy. Aww. It's all this fucking what, rain. Yeah. <sighs> it just felt good. And I'm sure Amber feels the same way. That after years of shit that she'd given us oh yeah she's been it's Hold just on, finally you know, well, like, okay, Mel? just like amber and i in the department as well and me as governor she was trying to investigate me for corruption <laughs> like bitch i'm like the she's least corrupt mess. person in this government yeah well once news gets to grace about her being dealt with, then she'll have extra reason to throw up in the corner. Oh, yeah. I'm excited for her so that we can have Rose get some closure with that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. What's up? That's also why I wasn't going to push to try to take her last night outside of numbers, because yep. we don't have Rose. Yep. Let me see what she wants. Good job, Sam. Probably felt Thanks really well. good to say what you were able to to her. Yeah. I don't really feel like I did much, except no. for just point out when you she was being kept it mm. She likes to try to manipulate words, and I was like, no. Mm -hmm. Thank you, good. Okay. I want to change. All right, so I'm going to end this one here. A big fucking shout out to Jen um, for the amazing role play that she always provides. She kept it fucking, she was great. She did so good. She always does. Exceptional role player. Um, fuck, we got Melody, uh, Sam Holt. We got fucking Amber Galbraith. We got Pedro Alvarez here right now. Uh, and Bishop just showed up. But hey, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. And we'll see you in the next one. Later.